there guys welcome back to your favorite place on the internet right here my channel so in case you couldn't tell this is not my dorm room you might be like where are you if you're a new subscriber even longtime subscribers may be confused because in the past my room has been blue it's always been very like under the sea but while I was away at college uh, my parents painted my room still got the yellow we need some color I felt like my room was a black and white photo my room is very empty so I'm planning on decorating it comment down below if you want me to do like a DIY room decor video. I have no idea if people still watch those, but let me know if you want to see one and maybe I'll show you how I transform my room from bland to I'm trying to think of a rhyme. From drab to fab. Okay, to the point of today's video, I'm telling you guys some things that you should do before the new year. Before anyone comments that I am copying anyone, this video is inspired by Emma, so I'll have her video linked down below. Big disclaimer, I actually haven't watched her video, so I have no idea what she says. I just saw the idea and I thought I'd recreate it because it's like a cool idea. I like it. Basically, this is not a purposeful copy or anything. And if you're new here or you missed my last video, which was like two weeks ago, which is not okay, but I had finals and it was like all the typical excuses. There we go. I have a 100k giveaway going on currently, so go check out my last video to find out how you can win some makeup, a Konkin backpack. Um, what else am I giving away? Face masks. And all you have to do to enter is be subscribed and follow me on Instagram. So like, do that. Okay, let's get the video started in hot, in here, all that. Number one thing you should do is take either a picture or a video every day of the year. So in order to do that, you need to prepare, you need to be all ready to be taking your photos. So there are a bunch of different apps where you can do this and they'll send you reminders every day so that you can get your clips. I think it's a cutesy idea and I don't know, it's fun. Like I can upload it on YouTube at the end of, at, <laughs> wow, I can't say that, at the end of the year. And then I can look back on my year, my memory, Memories, especially since I'm in college there's been so much change I like it I like it going along with that I want to start journaling or just writing something down every day so instead of just like keeping a diary I'm going to start a Google Doc and just write something down every day then I can look back on it in the future at the end of the year something I've realized is that over the past few years I have grown a lot as a person whether that's emotionally or I mean, generally, I mean emotionally. I'm excited and I think it's just fun to like remember, remember your life, reminisce. But those are sort of uh, my New Year's resolutions. Make a list of some New Year's resolutions and this is gonna be the year when you actually achieve them. Cause I know we all write like, I'm gonna go to the gym every day. And then like January 1st, the gym is packed. Like June 1st, it's empty. So something you can do is write down how you're going to achieve your goals. So like, it's easy to say, I'm gonna go to the gym every day, but are you going to write down what time you're gonna go every day, what exactly you're gonna do? Because if you have a vague resolution, it's so much easier to kind of like have cheat days and skip out and not actually do it. You're gonna be in like the 5% who, actually, I don't know, let's see. Hey Siri, what percent of people achieve their New Year's resolutions? Take a look. 8% of people achieve their New Year's resolutions, which is a sad percentage. And I think what makes some people fail, this is honestly just like my personal thoughts. I don't know if I'm right, I don't know if I'm wrong. I feel like when people fail, it's because they mess up one time. So like say, going to the gym every day, this is not mine, but like, you're trying to go to the gym every day and you go every day in January. Then February 1st, you miss a day. And I feel like at that point, a lot of people are like, oh, I've already failed, like, why keep going? As Hannah Montana once said, nobody's perfect, so yes, you might mess up a few times. Keep going. I feel like I'm preaching, but I just really wanna help you guys. So yeah, those are my words of advice. Thanks to Hannah Montana. I love Hannah Montana so much. Like, do you ever just really miss Hannah Montana? Cause I do. Should we listen to it? I love that song so much. Basically, that's my inspo. You don't need to be perfect. So this next one's a little bit less inspirational, sadly, but this is to go through your closet, figure out what you don't wear, and do a little bit of spring cleaning, but more like winter cleaning. Especially because around the holiday time, people do a lot of shopping, at least I can attest to that for myself. I've been doing a little too much. Huh? And for Christmas, I always end up getting new clothes or gift cards, and all of a sudden I'm out of hangers. I'm like, what do I do? So this is where you get rid of your old clothes. Don't 
donate to them, sell them, you can make some extra money. It's the way to go, honestly. Go on Depop. I love it so much. And after doing cleaning, I feel so good about myself. I don't like clutter, which is like ironic because my floor is covered in clutter. My last idea is to make a playlist, get super hyped for the new year. If you happen to be in college, fun fact, Spotify is half off. I believe, how much is that? Five? $99? $5? Honestly, it might be the reason why I decided to go to college in the first place. But I love Spotify, so I just like to make a playlist, get myself hyped for the new year. It just helps you get into the right mindset. The mindset of like, this is gonna be a good year. I think with 2017, a lot of people went into it not expecting it to be a good year. I try not to have that mindset usually, so I went into it pretty optimistic, and the year was pretty good. So I don't know, like a, I feel like a hype playlist will get you into that correct mindset. Like 50% of your happiness, is just your mindset. It's probably more than that. Hey Siri. Here's what I found on the web for what's a percent of your happiness is due to your mindset. Get a read. This is scientific proof that happiness is a choice. I don't know if there's any stats in here, but I personally believe that happiness is a choice and if you choose to be happy and to look at things from a positive perspective, twist it around to the positive, I feel like you are so much happier. So go for it. That was kind of a tangent from the playlist one, but it kind of goes along. Like making a playlist can make me happier at least. I love music so try it out. Anyway that was my list of things that I'm planning on doing for the new year. If you guys are gonna try these out comment down below. Comment what you're planning on doing to prepare for the new year and if you're not already subscribed subscribe to my channel press the bell to turn on my post notifications so every time I upload I'm going to try and upload a lot more during winter break because I'm here. I'm home. You'll get a notification on your phone, your computer, your tablet, your TV maybe? Oh, I don't know. Whenever I upload, so press that bell. And if you want to see what I'm up to when I'm not posting videos, check out my personal life. Follow me on social media. And also, you guys can subscribe to my vlog channel. I haven't vlogged in like a year. Maybe a little less than a year. I don't know. Let me know if you want me to revive that channel and vlog. Not sure if it'll happen, but I guess we'll see. As always, have a great day and I'll see you next time. Bye.